What's up everyone? Jason here again with another fun filled video. So before we go too far into the video, two things. One, because of the nature of this video, if I goof up, I'm sorry. But the biggest thing is I want to say thank you so much. I wrote it down for PB Sports for making this video happen. Thank you so much, guys. They actually were able to get me the accessories I needed, put it that way. So without further ado, we are actually going to be doing a barrel squeegee, barrel swab, barrel cleaner, everyone calls them differently, of which one works and which one is a piece of poop or caca, so to speak. So go ahead and scroll down the video or camera, sorry. So what we did is I got five of my paintball barrels. Now, first of all, these are all aircraft aluminum. I have some carbon fibers, but I didn't want to mix it. I wanted to keep all like for like. So what we did is we actually, this is really disgusting. It was kind of fun to do. We actually popped a paintball in each one of these just to make it disgusting. Okay. So now before anyone starts saying, oh, they're, they're different, they're different bore sizes. These all range from either 684. 685 or 683 okay so they're a little bit different yes but they're still within the same close parameter okay so of course we'll go ahead and go through we have the hk army we have the hk army laser we have the lux barrel we have the shocker barrel and then we have an old school evil pipe bomb and yes that's actually what the barrel is called so the competitors today are we have a Vulcan still in the bag we have some generic one that I bought we have an exalt barrel made and then we actually have the I believe which one is the 2.0 one of these is the 2.0 okay this is the standard and then this is the 2.0 okay so these are the HK army blades only reason I know this is a 2.0 because it says 2. So I cheated on that one. So let's go ahead and start with the complete generic, no name, don't even know who makes it. Okay. So as you can see, fresh in the bag. Okay. Let's go for the evil. Okay. So same thing. We'll go ahead and let's make sure we can see straight down that barrel. So we can see all the yuckies in there. Okay, so each of these is only going to get one, they're only going to get one chance to clean, okay? So we'll go ahead and look down the barrel and do a comparison. It is clean, but you can still see some slime in there. If you look really carefully. Okay, so we're going to put this off to the side. So that one is now complete. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll go for the exalt. Same thing, fresh in the bag here. It's so fresh in the bag, I can't even get it out of the bag. There we go. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do one of the HK barrels for this one. Now, it's debatable. Do you put this, do you put the fluffy inside first? Do you put the squeegee in first? I like to do the fluffy first, then the squeegee picks up the residue. Okay, that's how I prefer to do it. But if you do it the other way, that's fine. No problem with that. So same thing. We'll go ahead and we'll put the fluffy in first. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, I almost forgot to do that. As you can see, same thing, just caked with paint. Okay. So here we go. Okay, that's actually really clean. And if you notice, mostly all the paint is right on the tip. Okay, perfect. So we'll move that one to the side now. Okay, so next we're going to go is the Vulcan. That is super fuzzy. That is like really fuzzy. Okay, we'll go ahead and go for the other HK Army. Same thing, caked in paint. And all this paint is the same. It's five star. So this is not a normal little film this is thick paint okay here we go that just is really tight 
<clears throat> Holy moly. Okay, so far I'm not liking the Vulcan. <clears throat> well, um, we're going to go ahead and just disqualify the Vulcan completely. Uh, don't buy the Vulcans. I will dig that out later. Okay, so we're going to go with just as the... HK Army, this is just the blade, not the 2.0. And as you can see, I haven't even taken out of his little packaging yet. So let's do that. Okay, throw that off to the side. And we'll go ahead and do the Lux barrel for this one. Same thing, caked in paint in there. Okay, so same thing, let's go. Dude. Ah, there we go. Whew. And of course, this needs to... These do have a little plunger at the end, so I'm trying to make sure that that gets in. There we go. Okay. Damn. That actually cleaned really well. Okay, so moving on. So now, last one is the 2.0 okay now the one cool thing that i'm kind of noticing on these hk ones they're screwed in so you don't gotta worry about a pop okay so final one is the shocker barrel or basically a freak barrel same thing covered in paint all right let's do this Oh, that is much easier to use. <laughs> ah, my hands are getting caked with paint. Okay. Okay, that one, not so much. I can really see some caked, not caked, but I can still see the resin of the actual paint left over. So that's going to be a little bit of a slimy barrel. Okay. So let me find out and where my microfiber went, in which I lost it, that's fine. Okay, so out of all these, the no-name brand did, okay, we still have a little bit of residue. The Exalt cleaned pretty well. It was easy to use too. The Vulcan, sorry, just disqualified, it came apart. The HK Army Blade cleaned really well, but it was super hard to get out, which does have, which can, lead to a concern to be honest with you and of course the hk army blade 2 was easy to go in but it didn't clean as well as we expected that's fine it happens so this video was just really to kind of show you the different kinds of barrel squeegees or swabs you can use there's still a lot more out there empire has one uh planet eclipse has one so it's really just about what you want i usually always go with the exalts they're quick they're easy they go in and out of your barrel pretty, pretty smooth. And of course, keep in mind too, while you're playing, you clean your barrel real quick. A lot of times your next paintball or your next shot can clean out the debris. So hope this video was fun. I had fun making it. I got dirty a few times. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it all. Check out our Facebook and our Instagram. And yet again, a big, big thank you for pb sports for getting us all these squeegees we did buy them they did not give them for free and i can't wait to do more videos thanks for watching